Hello, hello, my dear friends. This is Uncle Misha, and today we have yet another device to run some benchmarks. So that was acquired during Amazon Prime days because I needed better and faster and bigger a uh, NVMe device. So this one is M2 PCI Express Gen 4 Quad 4. I don't know. Ah, oh, 4x SSD. Um, module. So um, I needed it because when I work on video, I need something a little bit faster uh, throughput to copy video, to to move them around, to you know massage video files and things like that. So I decided to splurge for this, and this was actually pretty good price, which you can see. Uh, yeah, well, you're not gonna see because it was during the Amazon Prime days, but original price can be seen right here. These guys go from time to time on sale. There is no any kind of fancy brand like, for example, Samsung or Intel or Western Digital. This is XPG, whatever, S70 Blade, which is, I think, a data company. So this is essentially a data brand. So it's like eh, of of uh, not the um, how to say not the most prominent brand in the world, but I think it's good. Uh, good enough for my liking. Not sure how long this thing gonna last in comparison to other brand names. I don't know how gonna fast it's gonna be. Unfortunately, I wouldn't be even able to try on Gen 4 because the motherboard I have is Gen 3 PCI Express. So yeah, but that's gonna be giving a that will give us a some kind of reference. For example, how this thing works on Gen 3. If you have Gen 3 board, you want to upgrade your existing SSD to something like uh, that or something which is Gen 4. Okay, so as I mentioned, this is a PCI Express 4.0 3D NVMe 1.4. I have no idea what this means. It has caching and option, optional heatsink, so it doesn't come with heatsink. Obviously, I should, ah, does it come with heatsink? Upon reading a little bit more information, if it's blade, it has just little this teeny tiny heat spreader, so probably just aluminium little plate. That's pretty much it. No heatsink here. Uh, if you want the version with heatsink, it has to be like this. Just Gamix S70 without blade. Blade means it's thin. So let's continue with unboxing. So it's a bit of a confusion between heat spreader and heat sink. So yeah. Okay. Okay, here is our heat spreader. Very interesting to see this bare die. Not bare, but a uh, not covered with some kind of metal uh, let me zoom in. So it's very interesting to see uh, that this die, the, the controller, is does, doesn't have a heat uh, spreader, it's just a bare die, so essentially this is very important to put on, because it's gonna not just he spread the heat, but also protect it, because yeah, this sort of thing is very easy to damage. So this definitely has to go on here for sure, maybe you have to do it right away before unboxing, for example. Just pull it. Yeah, it's not easy to pull out of here. So this is about one millimeter aluminum plate. Nothing fancy. Maybe even less than one millimeter. Maybe 0.9, but take about about that. So this has to go right here. So here we are, this is our SSD drive installed, an NVMe SSD drive and actually chip subrated branded ADATA installed into the PCI Express 4 compatible slot of the motherboard and if your motherboard has own heatsink just like this, like this, you definitely not need anything else. So you don't really need to buy the, the heatsink version because this heatsink is supposed to be good enough. Now we're gonna just screw this back on not too tight and now we are ready just a reminder as you see it this is Asus Z790 Tough Gaming I don't care about the gaming capabilities of it but the features overall is very good as described in one of my videos here 
So here we are. So this is the results of our tests. As you see, crystal disk mark uh, read is uh, 7.1 gig and the write is 6.6. .6. So this is interesting. So here is read is faster than write. And numbers are quite substantial. So, and uh, as you see for black magic disk speed test, actually very interesting utility, specifically tuned up for the video editing uh, disk performance is 5492, 5.4, almost five and a half a uh, gigabyte per second is right and five gigabyte per second is read. Very interesting uh, difference, but still it's quite good numbers. So as you see, this is quite performant uh, SSD. I really like the uh, f speed of, uh, uh, of recording, especially with PCI Express 4.0. So I definitely would recommend this one, especially if you get it on sale, especially if you get it on Black Friday sale. So if you have, um, if you see it on sale, please go ahead. I think it's totally worth it. And two terabyte, it's it's a decent amount of space. So guys, I think I'm gonna wrap up. Uh, if you like this sort of short review videos, uh, benchmark videos, please subscribe for the channel, comment, like, and I wish you all the best. See you next time. Stay tuned and ciao.